Welcome to A Chef Called Rhonda. I'm Rhonda and this is my kitchen. And today, I'm going to show you how to make Italian egg biscuits. I'd like to run down the ingredients uh, prior to assembling our dough for this recipe. Very simple. Very I have two room temperature eggs. I have three quarter cup of white granulated sugar just over a half a cup of whole milk. Whole milk is the trick here. It renders a very rich cookie. And I have a half cup of vegetable oil. Now, to that we will add a half teaspoon of good quality vanilla, one and a half teaspoon of lemon extract. During the uh, Christmas holiday, uh, typically uh, we use anise. Uh, to flavor the dough. So right now it's springtime and I'm going to use lemon extract and that's one and a half teaspoons of lemon extract followed by three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And we have three cup all-purpose Let's flour. assemble our dough for the Italian egg biscuits. First goes in the, the two eggs and you want to beat them ever so gently. Just get them going if you will. And to this, to the egg, I will then add my sugar, white granulated sugar. So I'm using a fork. If you can see, I'm just mixing the egg with the sugar ever so gently. Add the whole milk. And again, using the fork. Once I've added, it should appear pale yellow. I'll add my oil, and that's just your regular vegetable oil. And that is a key. Uh, it's a misnomer to use any other type because the cookie really won't cook well. And next I will add my vanilla, just about half teaspoon of vanilla, followed by my lemon extract. And again, if you choose to use anise, that makes for a wonderful egg biscuit as well. Three and a half teaspoons of my baking powder. And to this, I'm just going to ever so gently, you can use a whisk as well. Another secret tip to the Italian egg biscuit recipe here, the dough, and you want to make sure that that, and I want to show you how, I want to show you that the, um, you really want to work that baking powder into this mixture here, into the liquid mixture here, the egg, the milk, and the sugar, and the oil, uh, because it tends to stay together a little bit. So just uh, really give that a good judge. And the extract smells so heavenly. This cookie is so fresh and vibrant. And once the cookie is finished and dipped in its frosting, oh, it's so pretty. Three cup all-purpose flour here. And in segments, we'll then incorporate the flour into my egg mixture. We're just going to mix in by hand. The dough is starting to pull together. That's my second segment. Bacon powder offers that nice puffiness to the cookie. Okay, it should start to look like, can you see that? Oh, it smells heavenly. I wish you could smell it. Okay, so now I'll add my third segment. So my, my three cups of flour, I incorporate into the egg mixture four times. Okay, and towards the end there, <clears throat> you'll see your dough starting to take shape. This is a classic Italian cookie. The Italian egg biscuit. So you can oh. see the dough is starting to form very nicely and we have a little remaining of flour here and incidentally this cookie will bake at 400 degree preheated oven. I've already preheated my oven 400 degrees for between 10 and 13 minutes. This dough, how it pulls together nicely. Now the trick here, the dough needs to rest. I will let the dough rest for 10 minutes cover. I have my trusty mappina here and I will just let that rest and in 10 minutes time we'll be on a roll to making homemade Italian night biscuits. Okay, so our dough is under wraps. We'll set that aside while I show you how to make the frosting. Super easy, super simple, super fun, super healthy and delicious. Well, I don't know if it's so healthy but it certainly is delicious. Who doesn't like cookies? Biscuits, Italian cookies, perfect. Okay, so the frosting is super easy. As I stated, I have one and a half cups of confection flour. 
I am going to add to that one teaspoon, one level teaspoon of my lemon extract. One teaspoon. Yeah, we really like lemon here. We give it that nice, fresh, clean taste with a bit of sweetness. Well, not a bit, a lot. Okay, so now I'm just going to add enough milk, whole milk again, enough milk just to start to smooth out the frosting. Because we will dip our cookies into the frosting and that looks about to be four tablespoons a quarter, or also known as a quarter cup. And a bit thicker, you can add a little bit more confection, confectionery sugar, powdered sugar. Okay, once I have that blended together and it's nice and smooth. A nice color pop, I'm going to zest half a lemon. Can you see that lemon? Oh, it smells heavenly. Okay, don't forget the back of your zester once more and just incorporate and you'll notice it starts to turn a nice pale yellow. It's been about 10 minutes and our dough is ready for cookie making. And just let me show you how it kind of grew in size a little bit. I'm using my spatula here and just kind of take about a tablespoon of dough into my hand like so. I'm going to roll our egg biscuit into a little ball. I have two cookie sheets that are parchment paper lined. The cookies will spread, so they'll need about two and a half to three inches uh, between each other, okay? And my oven is already preheated, 400 degrees. They will bake for 10 to 13 minutes, just until golden brown on the bottom, and this recipe will make about 26 to 30 cookies, depending on how I roll. This is the reason why I use the spatula, to try to keep a consistent look and size to the cookie. But you never want them to look manufactured. You always want them to look like handmade Italian cookies. <gasps> Nothing better. Here's the little ball. We'll continue to roll the cookies until my cookie sheet is full. My first cookie sheet is done. The distance between each Italian egg biscuit here, between the cookies is about three inches because due to the baking powder, they will spread. Ready to be baked off at 400 degrees for between 10 and 13 minutes until they're golden brown on the bottom. We'll allow them to cool and then I'll show you how I frost them and add that little special touch of lemon zest to give them a pop of color. All right, cookies are baked 400 degrees for about 13 minutes. Can you see them? Oh, they smell heavenly. So they're still warm. I'll let them cool down on the baking sheet, but I do want to show you the bottom of the cookie. That's what it should look like. It's a little chunk of goodness. The cookie here, I want to show you nice and up close. Can you see the golden brown? There we are. I'll take this opportunity to ask, please, would you subscribe to a chef called Rhonda? Uh, you can give me a big thumbs up down below. You can hit the like button and please hit that subscribe button. It will be great fun. You'll stay with me. You'll learn all the Italian recipes my grandmother passed down through the years, as well as how to eat healthy and delicious at the same time. So we have sufficiently cooled down whereby we can now dip them. Uh, into the homemade frosting that we made. I my countertop with parchment paper here prior to placing down my cookie brackets because the frosting tends to drip through and down onto the counter if it's not sufficiently lined with parchment. And now, by doing this method, all you have to do is roll up your parchment and discard it, and you have a semi-clean counter. However, that said, let me show you exactly. I'm going to give that a little stir just to reincorporate the ingredients, it did stand alone. Uh, it did stand for some time, so I'm just going to reincorporate the lemon zest into the frosting. So I have a cookie, very easy, in my hand, and I'm just going to dip, let it drip off, release, and there we are. A glaze that is second to none. I'll repeat this method until all my cookies are glazed, frosted, and they will drip off a bit, but you can see that, right? It's just so 
And I'll repeat this method until all of our cookies have been sufficiently frosted on the weekend when you were at grandma's house. Always homemade, always. And every grandma's recipe is a little bit different. <laughs> That's what I've learned. And secretive, of course. So we'll take the remaining lemon and I will just zest any remaining bits of that outer lemon right on top of our cookie with your little lemon zest. Let me come up close. So we have our cookie dipped, our egg biscuit has been dipped into the frosting, has a little bit of lemon zest. It's golden brown on the bottom and it's going to be perfect. Cookies, the Italian egg biscuits are finito. And now they're ready for a big bite. So, first, let me show you what the Italian egg biscuit looks like. Infinito, complete. Stop to end with golden brown. Watch me eat this cookie. Cheers. All right. Oh my God, this cookie, this cookie, is better than any Italian bakery I know. Pia Pia. Salute. Bravo. Perfecto. If you want this recipe, email me, comment down below. If you want to try your hand at it, whether it's Easter time or Christmas time, this cookie is not to be missed on the holiday cookie tray. Italian egg biscuits for you and your family. Brought to you with love from my kitchen to yours. Thanks for watching. Bye.